Hello and welcome to module 20 of chemical kinetics and transition state theory. Uh, now we have developed some of the language of statistical mechanics specifically partition functions. Now we want to di direct our attention towards calculating rates for using these partition functions. So before doing that let, us, let me tell you our general prescription on how we are going to calculate the rate. Okay, so this is going to be a small module, but it is an important module. Okay. So we are actually going to not think about molecules today, let us think about something better. Let us think about cars and I have a puzzle for you today and we are going to solve this puzzle. Uh, imagine I have a road and on this road you have a lot of vehicles that are moving. Now uh, you have a distribution of speeds. Yes, so you are really thinking of some highways, many cars are moving, you have different lanes. And uh, just for simplicity, let us assume you have uh, cars moving at 30 meter per second, 20 meter per second and 15 meter per second, only 3 speeds, just as an example. And let us say 50% uh, of the cars are moving with 30, 30% are moving with 20 and 20% 20 are moving with 15 meter per second. Now imagine I have some uh, signpost somewhere, okay, so just, just a spot on the road. And I ask you the question, what is the rate at which cars will be uh, crossing this line, this blue line here. Okay. And we have to assume some density of that cars and let us say that the density is some 2 cars per meter. Okay, that is actually a lot of cars, but fine. Every kilometer you have a 2000 cars, so a very, very busy highway I guess, but let us assume it, whatever, it is a number. Uh, so this is a puzzle for you. Uh, what I want you to do is this is one of the most important things actually. If you can solve this puzzle, you understand the essence of all rate theories then. Everything that will for, um, forward here from this point on, you then understand. So I really want you to take your time, pause this video and get this answer. Most important I want you to understand is the logic behind how to solve this problem. Okay? So pause the video and solve this problem and do not rest until you have solved this problem. Please pause the video now. Okay, hopefully you are back and hopefully you have tried to solve this. If you have not, please pause the video and do attempt to solve this one. This one is critically important. Okay, we are going to solve it together now. So, we are going to divide this problem. The rate, total rate will be the rate at which cars moving with a speed equal to 30 meter per second plus a rate of cars traveling with 20 meters per second plus rate of cars traveling with 15 meters per second. So, uh, what I will do is then to find these three individual rates. So, let us focus on rate at 30 meters per second. Okay. How do I solve this problem? Okay. What is rate? So, we have to get back to our fundamentals. Rate is the number of cars crossing the sign post per second. So if I wait for one second, I have to observe how many cars passed which were traveling at 30 meters per second. Okay, so imagine you are uh, sitting there at that uh, toll booth at the sign post and every time a car traveling at 30 meter per second uh, crosses by, you you have a counter and you increase the counter by 1 and you find the number of uh, cars that passed in 1 me one second that is the rate okay by definition okay okay so uh, how do i calculate this number well the idea is in 1 second uh, cars traveling with uh, 30 meter per second
uh, will travel well of course 30 meters ok the speed is 30 meter per second in one second you have 30 meters of distance. What it means then is if I take a length of 30 meters here the cars that were in this 30 meter would have crossed this blue line and any car that is outside this 30 meter line will not have crossed this blue line in one second. So, in one second time only the cars that fall within this 30 meter range will be able to cross. So, this number, so this rate of 30 meter per second will be number of cars in 30 meter length. Okay. So, this will be equal to density of cars with speed equal to 30 meter per second into 30 meter. Okay. So, I find the density uh, in per unit length which have this for following speed and I multiply it by 30 meters per second that will give me the rate. So, this density is the density of cars into fraction of cars with speed equal to 30 meters per second into 30 meters per second. Okay. So, the density of cars with a particular speed equal to total density of cars per unit length multiplied by the fraction of cars that were travelling with 30 meters per second. Yeah, so, that is how I will find the density which are with a particular speed. Because so think about it very carefully what, have, what we are doing. The total rate at 30 meters per second will be the number of cars in the 30 meter length because those are the cars that will be able to cross this signpost in one second time fine. Uh, but uh, the number of cars in this uh, distance is nothing but the density of the cars into this distance. The density of the cars will be the total density of all kind of cars multiplied by the fraction of uh, this particular kind of car. Okay. So, this rate at 30 meters per second is then density, the total density into fraction of 30 meters per second into 30 meters per second, the speed. The density is 2 cars per meter, that is the total density. A uh, fraction for 30 meters per second is given to be half, 50 percent. 50 percent is nothing but half into 30 meters per second. So, if I multiply this, I am going to get uh, 30. Yes. So, I can do the same for uh, 20 meters per second too. This will be the same as a density of total cars into the fraction of cars traveling with 20 meters per second into 20 meters per second. The same logic in one second the total number of cars traveling with uh, speed 20 meters per second well those cars better be in this uh, length of 20 meters same logic. So, this becomes 2 cars per meter into the fraction here is 0 0.30 into 20. And uh, I can calculate this, uh, I, this is equal to 12. And the corresponding rate for 15 meter per second will again be the total density 
into the fraction of 15 meter per second which is 0 0.20 into 15 meters per second. So, this is equal to 6 cars per second. So, the total rate is then equal to the sum of these 3 which is nothing but 48 cars per second. So, if you sit at that sign post you will observe 48 total cars passing. So, we want to generalize this a little bit. Okay. Uh, the total rate if I have in general some number of cars with some number of speeds will then be equal to sum over all speeds at which the cars are moving the total density of cars per unit length. into fraction of cars with speed u into u. Okay. So, if you are traveling with some speed u in each second uh, the cars have to be within the length u meters. So, I have to find the number of cars in this u meter length. But the number of cars in this u meter length is nothing but the density of cars, uh, total density of cars into the fraction of density which uh, are moving with speed u multiplied by u meters. Okay. So, that will give me the rate in per second. Uh, I can generalize this a little bit. Uh, if I have a distribution of speeds, okay, rather than summation, this summation will become an integral. So, imagine you have a cars at all possible speeds traveling, not only at 30, but you also have at 30.001, 30.002. At every speed there is a distribution. So, that is how molecules behave, right. So, I am trying to get to the molecules you now from cars. Uh, so, the fraction basically replaced gets replaced by some density into density into u, where d is total density per unit length uh, rho of u du is fraction of cars at speed u. Okay, so, uh, this is the expression I get rate is equal to integral and I had forgotten to do one very important thing which is the limits. So, we are only looking at positive speeds. Okay. So, our integral uh, goes from 0 to infinity. All cars that are moving with positive speeds. So, these limits are very important. Uh, so, in uh, writing this expression, we have made two important assumptions. One is only forward speeds that is that, that is that these cars are later on not turning around and coming back then your rate decreases the forward rate decreases. So, we are assuming all the cars once they go through this goal post keep on going forward and the second is importantly we are treating cars classically obviously uh, this becomes a bit more tricky when you think of atoms and molecules cars are of course described by Newton's laws very well. Uh, atoms molecules most likely they are, but you can have exceptions. So, today I just want to uh, give you this uh, important expression for the rate. Anytime you calculate rate actually this fundamental expression is used rate is an integral over uh, uh, speeds the density multiplied by the probability that I am at given speed u and multiplied by u. So, this u is called the flux. Okay, so, I am at a given goal post what is the flux multiplied by its density that is how you calculate rate and in doing that we have written two assumptions here. We are, we are really thinking of a speed and when you even use the word speed it is somewhat classical. 
in quantum mechanics you have to be very careful when using the word speed. So, we will just end here and in the next module we will actually derive transition state theory. Thank you very much. <laughs>